Okay, you know, when do you recognize the fine line between a religious uh, zealotness, cult-like behavior, uh, and your personal relationship with God? A lot of y'all ain't gonna like this because like I told you, a lot of these organizations, as I become an adult um, and put away childish things, I realize that my relationship with the Most High is a personal thing. It's a personal relationship. So I definitely look at it sideways and look at you side eye. When I look at you and your religious zealousness get you to want to kill other people, uh, not allowing people to make the same judgments and or mistakes that you've made maybe coming up or whatever, and that your love of God allows you to kill other people in the name of God. See, the old, you have to realize that when we start saying how the Bible can be used, it's the world's greatest terrorist manual. Oh, I know y'all mad now. Oh, Lord. Lord. Woo. Yep. A lot of y'all really, uh, y'all ain't feeling that. That's the truth. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, women, eight of them, in fact. Filming a religiously a religious reality TV show called Good Girls Gone God. They had to be rescued, y'all, off of Arizona Mountain in the sweltering heat. And cops say that actually their response was divine intervention. Otherwise, their asses would have been dead. Uh, they had to be airlifted down. The rest of them managed, oh my gosh, like some of them to come down on their own. A few of them were airlifted to hospitals. And so what we know is another group passed them, and when they saw the women start to get dizzy, they dialed 911. And they said the women were participating in a strenuous activity to get closer to God and to test themselves physically. See, okay, okay, sound like a bad um, church service gone bad. Sound like a bad church service going bad. <coughs> I mean, really, a bad service gone wrong. And I'm saying this, y'all, just like I look at these, uh, you know, you got to look at these people who are like missionaries and 
especially if there's if they white and they going over to different African countries. Uh uh-uh. uh, that it needs to be a checkpoint on them because most of them going over there because they pedophiles. They going over there to have sex with little black uh, African children, and I've seen it with my own eyes. And like I said, I they know I already know when they see me. And they look me dead in my eye, and I look them dead in theirs. I look at the natives like, look, these uh, Europeans or these, um, ooh, Tubab, they don't got no business around your children. They don't have any business. This type of stuff. This is what religious stuff gets you. It gets you really, really crazy. And I, and the sad part about it is the women are black. Most of them look I look like the majority of them at least. Um, and it's just another cult. The, it, the group was filming a reality TV show where they test their physical abilities and spirituality. But it seemed God had other plans for their asses. As uh, the women... Three of them was aged 24, 42, and 50. Their asses was taken to the hospital. Airlifted on the damn helicopter. And because they damn near did. They, the hikers reportedly told the firefighters they didn't do their research. And didn't get the forewarning about the dangerous temperatures and the strenuous twill, trail that they was on. But God was definitely with them. Because there ain't no way in the world they would have been rescued up out that desert, up out them mountains, unless somebody out there liked them. This is just crazy. Don't, don't get involved with no cults, y'all. Don't get involved with it. Your relationship with God, it should be between you and you alone. You, don't worry about nobody. This is between you and God. You and your higher power. Nobody has a personal relationship. Do you want everybody in a relationship with your uh, significant other? Okay. But that's how you better look at your relationship with God. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm sorry.